Okay, so here we're going to find the derivative of a, polynomial, of a polynomial function, specifically a quadratic function, using the definition of a derivative. So first, let's think about the definition of a derivative. Um, so given, given y equals f of x some function, its derivative f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now this thing here, the argument of this limit, this thing is called the difference quotient. I have another uh, tutorial on how to compute these difference quotients. So the derivative is the limit as h goes to 0 of this difference, of this difference quotient. So we can think about this idea graphically this way. If you have some function, you've got some function f here, and we consider two, we consider two x values, maybe this x value, and then this x value may be x plus h. Well then we have two corresponding y values. When when we have x, we have this point here, which has this y value f of x, and at x plus h, we have that point, which has this y value f of x plus h. So, what does this thing really represent? Well, understand that f of x plus h minus f of x is really just the distance between these two y values, right? And h, well, h is just the difference between these two x values. So this is a difference in y values divided by a difference in x values, which is a slope. This thing is a slope, right? It's the average slope over this interval from x to x plus h. Now, what we're going to do is take the limit as h goes to 0. So we're going to understand that this distance here between x and x plus h, understand that that's h. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to shrink this interval to the smallest possible positive value you can possibly ever imagine. So it's, we're shrinking this interval essentially to 0, only not quite. And as we push x plus h closer and closer to x, that's going to push this point closer and closer and closer to this point, which is going to force x plus f of x plus h closer and closer and closer to f of x. So understand that this thing is the slope of the secant line, but as h gets closer and closer and closer to 0, I am getting closer and closer and closer to not the slope of the, of the secant line, but the slope of the tangent line. So what we're doing is we're finding the slope of the tangent line at this point x. We're going to do so algebraically using this definition. So here we go. We're going to let uh, f of x be equal to 2x squared minus x. We're going to find the derivative of this, of this quadratic function. So that means that f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h, which is 2 times x plus h squared minus x plus h minus f of x, which is 2x squared minus x. Now that thing I'm going to put in parentheses because I'm going to have to distribute this minus sign. So when students make mistakes with this, it's generally from losing a minus sign somewhere in the algebra. Now this is all divided by h. Okay, so we have to expand this. We have to distribute this minus sign and distribute this minus sign. Now understand that this thing right here, that's f of x plus h. I've plugged in x plus h in for x. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of 2 times x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'm going to distribute this minus sign, so it's minus x minus h minus 2x squared plus, a, uh, plus x. This is all divided by h. I'm now going to distribute this 2, so I have the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus x minus h 
minus 2x squared plus x all over h. Now at this point, after you've done all the expanding and distributing that you're going to do, you're going to find uh, something neat happens here. Anything, that with, anything without an h in it, in the top, is going to cancel. So I, there's a positive 2x squared, it's going to cancel with that negative 2x squared. There's a negative x, and there's a positive x. So now all I have left are these values, these terms at the top that have h's in them. Now, what we, ultimately what we want to do is we want to substitute 0 in for h, but we can't at this moment because I have this h in the denominator, which would render that thing undefined. So we continue. This is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of 4xh plus 2h squared minus h over h. Now this h in the denominator is going to cancel with a factor of h in the numerator. I can factor an h out of each of these terms and then cancel to get the limit as h goes to 0 of 4x plus 2h minus 1. Understand that I divided uh, the h out, so at that h cancels one of these h's cancels to leave with just one of these h's, and then h over h is just 1. Now we can substitute 0 in for h. And what we do, we find f prime that's equal to 4x minus 1. So the derivative of 2x squared minus x is 4x minus 1.